Well, here I am with my latest new toy. Chris Canada Smith told me that he had gotten an ultrasound machine, a hundred dollar ultrasound machine, or a Doppler, it's called a Doppler ultrasound, and I guess it uses sound waves. It picks up the minute sound of a heartbeat inside of a uh, inside of women who haven't had their babies yet and that's what it's meant to be used for is basically in a fetal uh, heartbeat monitor just to uh, listen to the heartbeat which is kind of a neat little novelty I don't know if this is what you would call your legit medical device or not probably not but just kind of a neat little novelty for me and I thought I would try as Chris Canada Smith suggested try to listen to heartbeats on some boas I knew were gravid which I thought would be great fun for me to see and for me to post here on uh, YouTube. And I did so with uh, moderate success. I am uh, an admitted complete utter hack. have no idea if, uh, if I'm using this thing properly. And I uh, just thought I would try it. And uh, it seemed to have worked. Seemed to have heard some heartbeats uh, from boas that were that are due as soon as ten days from now and as long as three weeks for three or four weeks from now I was still able to pick up a heartbeat which I thought was kinda neat at any rate I uh, just thought I would try it out and uh, show you uh, what my results were well we're gonna try a Brazilian here the South Brazilian boa and so far she doesn't seem to be too happy <laughs> We'll see how unhappy she is. Okay. See if I can do any of this at all. She is. She can't strike out as far as you are. <laughs> so. No matter how angry she is, she can't strike out. There's a styrofoam stick. Let's see if we can get her to go back there and pretend like we're not here. Right there. Honey. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a whole pile of babies right here in this Brazilian, and I'm probably getting more than one heartbeat. And she is due in about 10 days. I think she'll have about 20 babies. She's not very big. She had babies two years ago. She's seven years old. But anyways, it's just kind of fun to see. My wife is trembling, <laughs> holding the camera, while I'm trying to get a couple of little heartbeats. I was sure the, the snake cannot strike that far if she did strike. But doesn't matter. She's nervous Nelly. <laughs> All right. Beats. Can you hear it? Pretty cool, huh? She's looking angry. It's kind of tricky trying to get one isolated. Seem to be about sixty. It kind of comes and goes, and you imagine how difficult it would be with these babies, because these are very small babies, very small hearts compared to what the job that this is normally intended to do, you know, getting the heartbeat of an unborn baby. But it's still amazing and kind of neat to uh, confirm that, in fact, there are little heartbeats in there. 
We lost it now. And I think sometimes the number goes haywire. I don't think it's registering anything at that time, but. But it's pretty interesting. Something I will continue to play with and see uh, what else we might figure out. This one isn't due for about three weeks, by the way. Alrighty. Okay. Now, <laughs> now we're going to check the uh, purple P. That's what Eric Gertner named her. You can hear one. You can hear it. You can hear it pretty clearly. It's about 60 beats per minute. This is on a boa that isn't due for about three weeks. Named by Eric Gardner as a purple pea because she is, or was, purple. When a baby in a pastel. Listen. Oops. At any rate, it's it's pretty interesting. I really don't know what I'm doing with this thing. I'm basically a hack, but it's uh, it's very interesting stuff to me, and uh, makes me even more want to get a real ultrasound so that I can actually see what's going on in these guys sometimes more or less out of curiosity I checked I checked about eight boas today or so and we were able to find heartbeats on all of them these are all boas that I knew or I think I know are having babies uh, except for one that was due for not due for five or six weeks that one I didn't hear anything on but uh, at any rate, it's pretty interesting, and uh, I'm interested in any feedback you might have, if uh, especially from somebody who actually knows how this thing works. Because <laughs> I am just a hack. All right, see you later.